Mexico is the leading supplier of heroin to the United States. No one else is even close. About 95% of the heroin that comes into this country comes from Mexico. And that's not a small thing. About 50,000 Americans are dying every year of opioid overdoses. Now, you'd think Mexico, as our putative friend, would want to help us, help cut the flow into this country, but that's not happening. The opposite is happening. Mexican politicians are planning to legalize opium production, which, of course, would make it easier to produce heroin and kill Americans. Almost nobody has said anything about this, but we thought it was worth noting. Juan Hernandez was an advisor to the former president, Vicente Fox, of Mexico, and he joins us tonight from there. Juan, thank you very much for coming on. So, I, I know that... Thank you for inviting me, my friend. I know that the, the Mexican government isn't producing heroin, though obviously members of the Mexican government have gotten rich because of the heroin trade. So I, but I want to apportion blame where it's due. It's, it's drug cartels are doing this. But why would the Mexican government, if Mexico is indeed our ally and not our enemy, bent on our destruction, why would they make it easier for Mexican drug cartels to kill Americans? Well. To start with, I, I, this seems like it's a fad now in, in the United States. Let's blame Mexico for all of our problems in the United States. Uh, no. I mean, this is ridiculous. You have some legislators in, in Mexico, uh, some legislators, especially at the level of the state of Guerrero, where you're talking about where the poppy right. bulbs are, are produced, which, by the way, most of the production there goes for the terminally ill, not to, not to send to the United States. But you have legislators in one state in Mexico, and these are lower level legislators. They're talking about legalizing drugs. I'm, my friend, we have them in Colorado also, and we have them in other areas of the United well, States, I, but too. Well, I guess if, if I can just interrupt you and just, and just not say... not to believe in legalizing drugs, okay. but we have a terrible problem in the United States with the consumption of drugs. It's okay. our problem. We need to solve it in the United States, not okay. blame it on but, but, Mexico. But hold on. Let me just say, look, and I, I don't want to, I want to be rational about this, but I would say a couple of things. One, I don't believe it's just some legislator in an obscure Mexican state. I think the new president has said out loud and on camera that he is no. open to this idea. No, I think that's right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me say also that marijuana is not heroin. Yeah, heroin no. has as it as a demonstrated ability to override free will. At some point you don't choose to do heroin, you're physically addicted to it. There's a quantum difference and it's also deadly. 50,000 people dying every year and it, is it's a crisis. terrible and that's it's more, terrible. More people and died agree, of drug ODs last year. We need to deal with than, mental health. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, but we also need. But hold I on. I totally now. agree. It's How does terrible. It make, and I've on. had friends. How of does course, it? Well, everybody that have, that has. Suffered. But why shouldn't we consider it an act of aggression, an act of war for the country that is the primary and no one else comes close supplier of this deadly drug into our country to consider making it easier to bring that drug here? Why wouldn't we be concerned about that? Okay. You say you want to be rational, and I believe you, my friend. I do. Okay, we have a problem with the consumption in the United States, and we must recognize that. The drugs are coming into the United States, and we're not doing anything. I think back to, we go back to just say no with Nancy Reagan. There has not been a serious program in the United States to stop the drug consumption. I've had well, friends at the DEA tell me in the United States, Juan, if we would just stop a few of the trucks in, in California and in Texas, we would find, because we're talking about from Mexico, from Central America, from Afghanistan, from other countries, it, it's, it's wholesale coming to the United States. No, but, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm sort of, okay, no, but look, I'm trying States. to track with you here. We're talking about millions of okay, people I understand. who are consuming drugs, my I understand. We, it, and it's, it's a okay, very hold complex on. problem, and it's Mexico a, and the United States need to work together. But I'm wondering why you're doing what so many of our guests do. I'm willing to concede many things that you said. It's a complex problem. The United States needs to take a new tack on the problem. Our rehabilitation programs don't work. They have never worked. We should be thinking about how to make them better. There are a lot of That's things right. we can do. That's right. But it's you terrible. are totally unwilling, as almost all of our guests are, to concede that Mexico has any responsibility at all to its northern neighbor and benefactor. Oh, no, Mexico does have a responsibility. Okay, so why of can't you Mexico just say has a that it is outrageous for anyone in Mexico, which would not exist as a first world country without the United States, that's an economic fact, to suggest that they would make it easier to kill Americans with heroin. It's really simple. Why can't you just denounce that? Well, well, no, but let's not blame Mexico for killing Americans. I mean, that's that's a big, big jump. I think that it's outrageous, well, my friend. Heroin I will say is this. killing thousands of Americans. United that's States not a made-up stat. Mexico, no, no. I think it's I think it's outrageous. 
for, uh, for legislators in Mexico and leg legislators in the United States to minimize this terrible, terrible problem of production in some countries, including Mexico, and in consumption in no, the United States. No, not in some countries, but including... Let me just well, say, there's why a state is it so hard to get anybody to concede that Mexico has ever done anything wrong? Is it a holy country? Is it totally above... Look, I'm not attacking Mexico no, for no, all of America's no, problems. Friend, but, but I'm saying that 95% so of heroin you, comes from friend. Mexico. No, 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 no. I'm, yes, I'm willing yes, to yes. say that there is a problem, and Mexico is part of the problem, but the United States is the one consuming the drugs. Why is it so difficult for you, oh, my so friend, it's our that? fault. So you're going to say to the parents of a 17-year-old OD victim, it's your, ki it's your kid's fault. Really? Because actually, I think the blame goes both ways. No, I'm saying no. I'm saying that in the United States of America, we need to work on this problem. It's incredible how many millions of people are falling into the trap of these terrible drugs. But let yeah. me talk a little bit about Mexico. Okay, yes, well, you have <laughs> accused no, the, the state I, I know. of Guerrero. I know. Unfortunately, we're out of, of time. Of, of, I'm certainly letting you filibuster quite a bit. And, and I think there are problems there. But let me right. tell you about the state of Guanajuato in, in Mexico. One, uh, they're, they're, Mexico okay. is a lot um, larger. The state of Guanajuato has right, a conservative. Okay. Governor Diego Sinue that is pushing not for, for drugs, but on the contrary, family values just okay. like you and I, my friend, are supporting. Thank you, Juan. <laughs> you are more reasonable than most people I talk to in this you subject, bet, my but, friend. I, but not entirely reasonable. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Lou Dobbs is the host of Lou Dobbs Tonight. He's been talking about these issues for a long time. So, Lou, if there were to become a realistic push to legalize poppy production, opium production, heroin production in Mexico, why wouldn't that be a profound act of aggression against the United States? Well, I, th I think it is, as you pointed out. And Juan Hernandez, by the way, uh, Tucker, I, I quit talking to him a long time ago uh, for reasons <laughs> that you, you should now <laughs> understand fully. Uh, he is a wonderful emissary for the, for the dinosaur uh, system of Mexico that is being replaced by Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, I think, who I think represents a real uh, opportunity for this president to do great things uh, together with him. Uh, and change things in uh, Mexico and on our, along our borders. I'm very hopeful. But uh, when we don't even uh, destroy the poppy fields in Afghanistan after 17 years of war, yeah, I've noticed. I, I, I get the feeling that there is something of a, less than a full, uh, a full commitment uh, to protecting American citizens. Because so why that's would that be? So can, can you stop right there? Because I think that's sure. far more interesting than what some legislator in a southern Mexican Guerrero state is state. proposing. Yeah. Right, no, no, but it's, it's true. That's the core right there. We've yeah. occupied Afghanistan since a couple of my kids in high school yep. before they were even born. And yep. there are still poppy fields there. Why is there not the will to fight a problem that's killing 70,000 people a year in this country? Uh, without President Trump, there wouldn't have been an expression of any will at all. He is leading on this issue. It goes back to his first statements as he uh, uh, announced that he was running for president. Uh, people were scratching their heads. He's, uh, their heads, uh, because the president's actually talking about uh, uh, saving lives and stopping drugs that are killing tens of thousands of Americans every year. Uh, it, this is the president, remember, who didn't want us to be uh, squandering trillions of dollars in Afghanistan and Iraq. This is the president who, uh, with sometimes with great bombast, is actually pursued a modest foreign policy. Uh, and by the way, I think he and Lopez Obrador, the new president of Mexico, when he's inaugurated at the end of the year, uh, I think they're going to do great things. I really do. Huh, that's interesting. You're the first person I've heard say that. Well, um, so I'm approaching with an open mind. Lou Dobbs, thank you very much. A very open knowledgeable. Mind, but I also heard great skepticism, and I don't say it's misplaced. Great ah, to be with you. Interesting. Great to, great to see you. Thank you. Thank you.